In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own drawing templates, which are DRW, DOT files, and also sheet formats, which are SLD, DRT files. We need sheet formats when we have multiple sheets in our drawing file and they're different sizes. We'll talk about this later. So to start creating your own drawing template, you need to, first of all, point to my ones and you can do that by going into um, options and file locations and you need to point to my drawing templates so assuming you've done that if you click new you should see then my folder here as a tab and we're going to start by selecting the A4 landscape third angle. So click and click OK. Now we're not going to bring in any drawing views here, we're just going to create a template. So hit the red X to cancel model view. So the first thing we're going to do here is go to File and Properties and if you click on the custom tab you should find there uh, the option to put in your name there under author so put your name in there and it will evaluate it to your name in that column and click ok now if you zoom in on the title block you should see your name now appearing here now if you want to edit that further you have to right click and select edit sheet format this takes you into the background of the actual drawing sheet and if you want to go back to the drawing sheet again where the views come in you select edit sheet so there are two modes in drawings edit sheet and edit sheet format and you can toggle between them I'm just going right click and edit sheet format and edit sheet to get back again if you don't have the properties option there, click on the chevron on the bottom and you should be able then to customize the menu and make sure tick properties is on. So let's right click and edit sheet format. And in here you see various properties such as the sheet name and the drawing scale and files that you bring in and all this can be changed and we'll update automatically so this will count the sheets for us so this is current sheet and this is total sheets here so that's useful if you need to change the font size just double click and then you can change the font size now 1.5 is probably as small as we need to go here so I'll just cancel all of that if you want to make a little bit more space, you can drag this line and move any of this text around. Now, if you're going to do this, you need to delete this midpoint relation that's on the line here. So just click on the relation there and delete it as you would do in a sketch. So you can move this text around and it lines up using the yellow inference lines there. I can move that line across there, make a little bit more space if you need to do so. So that is our title block here. We've got the UL logo, sheet size, your name, and this information here. So let's go back now to the drawing sheet. So right click edit sheet. And this is where our viewers are going to come in. The sheet formats there in the background. So when I save a sheet format, you just simply go file and save sheet format. So I'm going to go to a folder here. And in your case, you'll go to your templates folder. So go into the folder and then just give it a descriptive name. I'm just going to call it A4 Landscape. So it's an SLD DRT file, that's the only option you have here. So click save, and that saves the actual sheet format. 
and the sheet format is the ball here and the title block and all those properties there and we need that when we have multiple drawing sheets when I save this now as a template also this will save all the settings in here from document properties and these the usual settings that you have with some additional ones that we also have for drawings but it's similar to what we did for parts previously so to do this just go save as select drawing template as the document type drw dot file and then go to the same folder where you have your own templates so I'm going to save it in here as A4 landscape chord angle same name there's a different type of the sheet format and just click save now when you do this this is now your drawing template if you want to use that you have to first of all close it so close our template now to use that you need to point to your templates folder so i'm going to point to our templates folder by going to file locations and add so there's that folder select it and it gets added here to the list and click OK so now when you go file new you should have your drawing template here and you can click on it and start with your own drawing template. Go to the same process for the other sizes. So I'll take the A3 landscape one here. Again, hit the red X. Now you'll need this for the exploded view of the Sterling engine on drawing sheet four. So this is A3. The only this, the only difference to the A4 one. So once again, you can go File Properties and change the name to yours and click OK. So it's File, Save Sheet Format. And it remembers the folder from the last time. So that's your templates folder. So to speed it up, I'll just click on the name there. I'll just change the 4 to a 3. So it's A3 landscape curved angle. That's our sheet format. Click save. And then go save as. And you now want to save this as a drawing template. So you'll need to browse to the folder for this one. your A4 one from before previously. Change the 4 to a 3. So A3 landscape third angle. Click save. And of course you need to click close to be able to use it. So now when you go file new and you click on your folder you now have two drawing templates. One for A3 landscape and one for A4 landscape both in third angle. And you can do the same now for the A4 portrait one. All right, so we learned to use these now when we're creating our drawing views in the next tutorial. Thank you.